Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dr. Quack Podcast. I am hanging out with my good friend Kendra, and today we're going to talk about Kendi's creations. Let me tell you, if you have are a big fan of art, this is the lady to talk to. So, what was your inspiration when, when you started painting? What inspired you to start painting? Actually, when I moved here to Hanover about three and a half years ago, I was bored. I was trying to find somewhere to go and look at, you know, what's around in the area. And I came across this vinyl record store called Off the Record. There was a lady that was in there and she had these tables set out and uh, there were canvases and easels and, and paints and stuff. And she would have these, these art sh or these um, paint nights. So I had never painted in my entire life. I just, it was just mostly just drawing pretty much. And uh, I was like, wow, I've always wanted to paint. And she was like, nope, you know, why don't you look around the, the record store, see what pops up to you, what inspires you. And uh, uh, I'll come back here in a few minutes. And I'm like, okay. So I'm looking around the store and I'm, I see this, this uh, cover of a piano with a rose on the keys. I'm like, oh, this is so pretty. I think I want to try to paint this. So she comes out with an easel, some paints, some paper plates, and some brushes, and she hands them all to me, and she goes, go create. And that's where it started. Wow. I mean, that's that's awesome. You get to actually, you know, decide what, you know, something came into your life, and now you're, you know, making things. By the way, look, she made this for me, and I, this feels awesome right here. Look at this. Look. That's right. <laughs> Those are my ugly little mini canvas uh, paint, uh, ornaments and uh, I have them all over my tree. I'm going to give them to some of my, my friends for the holidays and I'm making more for uh, anyone else who would want them. Yeah. See, home is where the liquor is. She knows me way too well. I do. <laughs> I do. Um, and as a matter of fact, the um, painting... Uh, that I my first painting is actually at the art guild. So if you want, we can go check that out. Yeah, where where is the art guild? It's uh, downtown, thirty. I think it's like thirty two Carlisle uh, Street. You, you can't miss. It's like right next to a Texas Hot Wiener, and um, there's like a like a subway and um, a Timeline Arcade, which is really cool. I gotta show you that place. I don't know if you've ever been there. And for you folks at home, that would be Hanover, Pennsylvania. Yes. Yeah. I'm actually on the road here. I decided to come up and see my friend because next week is her birthday. I may not get to see her, but I was wanting to hang out with her a little bit. And, you know, let me tell you, she does some great draw um, artistry here. Um, would you like us to show a couple? Um, yeah, we can go. Okay. Uh, We're going on the move here, folks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Follow me. All right. I got to turn it this way because my camera does not flip. This is where the, I'll just move this here, so. Yeah. There you go. It's a cramped space. <laughs> it is. That artist always has their small room, but it's definitely full of life in here. Let me just show you guys here. I mean. Here you go. Look, we got a lot of the monkeys up there. Oh, yeah. I'm a monkey fan if you want to get me anything for my birthday. <laughs> I love monkeys. So who is that? York Fair 2010. Who is that? That is me. A girl did that for me. That's <laughs> that's me as a character because I always draw people, and I've always wanted someone to draw me, and she drew me. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. But, yeah. So these are some of your work here. Yeah, yeah. So you want, you want to tell the tell the world about it? Yeah, well... Uh, this was, uh, something fun that I did, um, it's like with silhouette, um, and uh, drip, drip paint, I thought that was, I thought it was pretty neat. Um, I'm not too happy with these two, but I was in a really dark place, in a really bad relationship earlier this summer, so that's, that's. The outcome of that. <laughs> it's amazing how art imitates life. Yes, it does. And um, and then this is uh, another painting that I did shortly 
uh, like actually just a couple of weeks ago, you know, I'm feeling a lot better. You know, I, I put a lot of my expression and feelings into my art, obviously. So, and then of course, like my reflection, this is my prized possession. If I was in a, f my house was on fire, this would be the only painting that I would take with me because it was just like my pride and joy. This is my baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, sorry. Um, I'm going, I'm working on this. I got to fix this because it's a little messed up, but I'm making this for, uh, um, uh, Megan, Megan Mayers. That's, that's her, her Christmas present. <gasps> yeah. She, I showed it to her and she was like, oh my gosh, I love it. I, I call it the friendship tree with two singing birds. And the reason why, you know, cause she loves to sing, you know, we're friends. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, this is, uh, at, at, Empty swing. I don't know. I was I was in a very nostalgic mood, you know. I I also like uh, willow trees and and purples, so I thought that was pretty cool. My son and I actually did this together. He made the clouds and stuff, and this lonely painting over here. I don't even know what the frick that was about. It was just like, you know what? I'm feeling kind of like all over the place. Blech. <laughs> yeah, you can see the hearts, and you can see how it's fading. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, I will we'll probably go to uh, the the art guild later this afternoon if you want. Yeah, definitely, we'll check it out. Um, take there you go. This is a painting that I did for a friend of mine. Her sister had passed away with uh, from cancer. This was two of her favorite pictures uh, of her sister. Um, I call this piece Sarah because that was her sister's name, Sarah, and. Uh, yeah, I want to get this framed, and I want to send it to her. She lives in, um, uh, Amy is her sister that I'm going to send it to, uh, lives in uh, Lubbock, Texas, so. Yep. And, and these are for sale, right? Um, ex Y'all can have any of them except these two. <laughs> the, those two. These are mine. Those are yours. Or I can, you know, make you something. Yeah, if you guys are interested <laughs> want her to make you a, a painting, if you have something in mind, she is very creative and artistic. I would definitely recommend her. This is uh, unfinished, but I'm transferring a photo on canvas, and I'm going to paint. This is going to be for my friend Lou Flores. He's really looking forward to it. Ah. Yeah. It's uh, actually, it's a picture of him and I from Halloween dressed up as Cheech and Chong. <gasps> And then I'm gonna paint paint us, <laughs> so it's gonna look good when I'm done with it. It's just I had to I have to let it dry, and then I have to let it you know I have to like it's a process. Awesome. And do you have anything online or anything anybody can see? I, or? I, I everything is online. Um, yeah. I also have my business cards here. Uh, or yeah. there you go. So. Yep, I'll plug the info on the bottom here. If you would like to contact her, definitely please do so. And I can, um, I'm also going to be doing some artwork for uh, a couple of friends as bands. Um, they want me to, to draw them some character, caricature, um, art, you know, fan art. And uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, yeah, I've never really talked about myself like this before. It's kind of fun. See, I told you. <laughs> See, now you understand why I do this. Yeah. You know, it's kind of fun. It's definitely a, it's another art of its own. But oh, we could show them. Oh the yeah, tree. we could definitely do that too. So this here, th this was the tree, and I got one of the ornaments, so I was feeling pretty happy. But um, there you go. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> we got this one. I think I'm going to give that to Christine. It's, no, actually, no, I'm not going to give that to Christina. I'm going to give that to Bridget. Yeah. Buck Nugget. Um, I'm going to give this to Christina. Got her slut. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then, of course, look. Here's an eye. He's looking at you, kid. There you go. <laughs> and, of course, prick. Prick. Uh, Merry fucking Christmas. I'll tell you. That, you know, and, and of course, you've gotten a present from people that you just don't like. So, you know, just dump it in the trash. Yeah. And then, you know, it's like an ugly starfish doodad. I don't know. Yeah. But these are fun. I, I have fun making them. So. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. All right. Awesome. Well, don't worry. I'm going to put up another video here as far as you know, her uh, gallery as well. So I will put that up. And I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And I will see you guys in a little bit.